Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 38. And the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, set your face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech, and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and I will turn you back and put hooks into your jaws, and I will bring you forth and death all your army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Cush, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gimer and all his bands, the house of Togarma of the north quarters, and eth all his bands, and many people with you. Be prepared and prepare yourselves, you and all your company that are assembled unto you, and be you a guard unto them. After many days you shall be visited. In the latter years you shall come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Yashar'el, which have been always waste. But it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. You shall ascend and come like a storm. You shall be like a cloud to cover the land, you and all your bands and many people with you. Thus says Adonai Yahweh, It shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into your mind, and you shall think an evil thought. And you shall say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. To take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn your hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations, which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land, Shiva and Didan and the merchants of Tarshish, with all the young lions thereof, shall say unto you, Are you come to take a spoil? Have you gathered your company to take a prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away cattle and goods, to take a great spoil? Therefore, son of Adam, prophesy and say unto Gog, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, In that day when my people of Yashara'el dwell safely, shall you not know it? And you shall come from your place out of the north parts, you and many people with you, all of them riding upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. And you shall come up against my people of Yashara'el as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the latter days. And I will bring you against my land that the heathen may know when I shall be sanctified in you, O Gog, before their eyes. Thus says Adonai Yahweh, Are you he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants, the prophets of Yashadael, which prophesied in those days many years that I would bring you against them? And it shall come to pass, at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Yashadael, says Adonai Yahweh, that my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Yashadael, so that the fish of the sea and the fowls of the heavens and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence. And the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall, 
and every wall shall fall to the ground. And I will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains, says Yahuwah, rather Adonai Yahuwah. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood. And I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him in overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself. And I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am Yahweh.